This question is widely acknowledged to be one of the worst, most difficult GCSE questions ever. So let's get started and have a look how to solve it. We're given this shape made up of two congruent parallelograms where AB equals BC and they're both X. So let's write this on our diagram. We've got an X here and an X here. We also get given some information about P and Q and BP is equal to BQ, which is 10. So let's draw this on. That will be this length here being 10, and this length here also being 10. We're also given angle ABC to be 30 degrees. Annoyingly for us, it's actually really difficult to draw this on here without making it ambiguous which angle we mean. So what I suggest you should do is split up two different triangles so we can split angle triangle sorry abc and triangle pbq and draw those both separately so here's me doing this i'm going to take a b c and abc is the triangle with sides x here and here so x x and where angle ABC is 30. So now we can add a 30 in here, triangle ABC. Well, likewise, we have a similar triangle, not literally similar, but a similar looking triangle, PBQ. So PBQ. And the sides on PBQ were 10 and 10. So 10 and 10, we don't know the angle at the top. Actually, that's what this question wants us to find. But we know something really, really important about these two triangles. And this is a property that's coming from the fact we've got parallelograms. So this side here and this side here are parallel. What that means for us is that the base of this triangle AC and the base of this triangle PQ must be equal to one another. So this line and this line must be equal. That's the basis for this question. So what we're going to do is leverage this idea to compare the two triangles and eventually find cos PBQ. Before we get there though, the real idea that we're going to have to use is cosine rule. And the key for that, or how we know we're going to use it, is well the answer is asking for cos PBQ so that's a bit of a bit of a giveaway and also you can see it's got this x squared in here so if you think about cosine rule we've got a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a there's a lot of squares in there that's a bit of a hint that we might need to use cosine rule let's try it out then so for this triangle here a, B, C, we can do cosine rule. So I'm going to say A squared, and my A in here is actually the, the side that's opposite B, so this side length A, C. B and C are interchangeably our X, aren't they? So we're going to have X squared plus X squared minus 2 B, C, both X's, and then we've got cos, there's this angle 30, isn't it? cosine rule. Okay, so sorting this out, we're going to have 2x squared minus 2x squared. Cosine 30 is an exact trig value that we know. That's root 3 over 2. So a little bit more simplifying, we've got 2x squared minus root 3x squared. And actually, let's take out this factor of x squared as well. So we've got 2 minus root 3 x squared. This looks really good for us, actually, because finding the length of this side, 2 minus root 3 x squared, it's starting to look a bit like our answer already. So we think we're on the right track. Our next step, then, is we know the length of this side squared, ac squared, must be equal to the length of this side squared. So we're now going to take this value and plug it back into the cosine rule, but for the triangle PBQ, 
to hopefully discover this angle at the top. Before we do that though, let's rewrite the cosine rule, but the angle version to help us find cos A. So that other version with a little bit of rearranging should be cos A equals B squared plus C squared minus A squared over 2BC. Cos A is going to be our cos B, PBQ in this question. So cos PBQ. Well, our B squared and our C squared are interchangeably 10 squared and 10 squared. So we have 10 squared plus 10 squared minus A squared. Well, that's this value here, isn't it, that we already worked out. Really important to note, our a squared is this exact value. We don't need to square it again. So we've got minus 2 minus root 3 x squared. And on the bottom, we're going to have 2bc. So that's 2 times 10 times 10. Now it's just a case of simplifying. Our answer is looking pretty good compared to what we want, but we need to sort out the fraction. So 10 squared plus 10 squared, well that's 200. We've got minus 2 minus root 3x squared. And on the bottom of the fraction, 2 times 10 times 10 should again be 200. A little bit more simplifying for us. Well, 200 over 200 is just 1. And for this fraction then, that leaves us with 2 minus root 3 over 200 x squared. That's exactly what they wanted us to show.